Hey guys, what's up? It's Skeena here. Um, just making a video to a little update. Been scaling a bit. Right now I'm smithing cannonballs. It's late at night, so I'm kind of quiet. It's like 5 a.m. here. This is my new OBCC I made. It's called OBFX. There's only three people in it right now because there's only like maybe 20 people total. And it's late at night. We haven't really recruited at this time. So if any of you guys want to talk to me or anything... Or if you're an Obi Mauler and need a clan chat, stop by here. Um, so back to my skills: farming, did that a bit. Wood cutting, fire making, just a bit. Uh, a little bit of crafting, got 80 fletching. Doing cannonballs right now. And um, this is the account Obi Effects. It's free to play right now. Just scaling on it for the stats I need for a recipe for disaster. I didn't make it members yet because. Don't want to pay the money or buy a bond right now because I'm kind of rebuilding. And I don't plan on making this like right away. So I might as well get the skills in free to play first. Just gonna get 30 fire making. I don't think I need 30. I think I need like 28 for the lantern when I need slayer later. But might as well get 30. It's round number. Just started mining. So I am making these counting balls. And I'm gonna give you guys a couple PK clips that I'm post commentating, commentating on. And um, they're all risk fights. Three of them I win, and the last one I lose. And the last one was the one where I risk the most. The other person actually didn't risk that much. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. So this fight I had here with Raw Zal Jeff three. Just on uh, Obi Mall using knives. Didn't really care because he's lower level, lower strength level. I got already maxed. Um, sorry, I'm kind of quiet. I if you guys can't hear me, if, you, if I don't think you can hear me, I'll just redo this. So. This is like our third fight. The timer is running out, so I don't even know if I was full health at the beginning of this fight. But anyways, he's pretty easy. I told him to risk it a bit. I I said I was going to risk it, but I didn't really risk it because he uses knives. And even if he maxes a lot lower, the knives can like take a 9 or an 8 and just instantly kill me with like a 26 obby mall hit. He can hit higher than 26, he can hit like 30, 31. But uh, yeah, so... I kind of forgot what happened in this fight, so. I don't really know what's happening here. Um, just RPGing him. I know I can get the kill there, and I think I do here. Yeah, the 28, he risked it. So, Obby Cape, Obby Neck, and Maul there. So nice, good kill. But, like, maybe almost 4 mil loot. I, I guess you could say 4 mil because I got the tier upgrade. He was my target. So um, now I'm putting this guy low ass to 2 H. It's actually not a risk fight. What happened here is um he has 31 prayer and three items to protect, which is the Obi Cave B neck and Obi Mall plus a fourth item with his prayer, which is like his combat bracelet because he doesn't have mid gloves. And I don't want just chaps off this guy. Plus he's five levels higher, so I'm like, no, I'm not gonna unskull fight you because I risk 300k unskull plus a tier and. I forgot what that tier that is. I know it's at least a tier 5, so like, it's pretty decent. It's like probably 400k risk, maybe 500k. And um, sorry if I'm too quiet, I'll be a little louder. Um, I don't think I'll wake anyone up. So, he was saving to, I told him I'm max 33, even though I'm max 34, but the thing is, I'm max 342, which is barely a 34, and I'm like, in this clip 20k away from 84 strength and i haven't hit a 34 the whole time it was 83 strength and it's not a real risk fight you risk about 600k maybe 500k actually the mall cape cb brace chaps and his tier so like uh, 500 550 k is what he risks so i didn't really think the one mattered plus he's been a dick and yeah so i'm just fighting him he's not risking it. i don't see 8 at 34 i do master 34 technically but I couldn't hit it there because I wasn't fully potted. And he thinks that max 33 too, so yeah. But I really wanted to kill this guy because he's being a dick. And yeah, I was I think he maxed 35, 36, maybe even 37. He is level 50 and he wasn't range based. So yeah, he hits a 36 there. I'm pretty sure he maxed 37. He's like, you okay? Like, because I'm saying that he's saving. And because he thinks he's not for some reason. So I'm just, I just stopped talking to him there, I think. Because I realized he's not trolling. He's actually just stupid, I guess. So, not stupid, just like not that good. He doesn't really get it. So, round here is almost out. So I go to the Slayer staff. 
because my RPG isn't hitting, and that's because I'm not really potted. But I don't realize this, so I'm potted, but barely. So I don't hit the 32, and he eats anyways, so I repot here because I catch them not that potted. And then I also see that my dagger spec is coming up, but I don't think it'll, the fight will last long enough for me to use it, so I'm like, okay, I need it. Wrap this up quickly. And there's my dagger spec. And now I use, I think I use my dick spec here. Do I? Okay, maybe not. I, I get him here. And, yeah, I just drop him. He's like, what the fuck? Because I, like, not one ticked from the Slayer Staff to, um, uh, Maul. I, like, two ticked it. And that only works when your opponent hits you in between. Okay, so here I'm fighting this ranger. He has Iris b -neck. Fury and Regen versus his Fury and Dark Bow. So he's really bad new to the game. I'm pretty sure he bought his cash or like it's his friend's account. Uh, that's a nice Devo spec, but I see it coming. E. And here, yeah, here's some stuff. This is like our third, like our fifth fight or something, because he's been saving. I've been saving too, because he doesn't know I'm saving. And then here is where I'm like, what? What's happening here? Okay, no, not on that 25. He risked the 25. He said he lagged, but he didn't. He just mess. He doesn't use F keys, so when he specs with his Devo or clicks something, he doesn't go back to the food screen. So, like, he has to click it, and this is right where it happens. I think he's going to eat here. But he doesn't. Does he eat here? Yeah, he eats here. It's the next. <laughs> I keep saying it's here, but it's not. So I double E because I need like to breathe because he keeps hitting me with range. Yeah, this is where he's trying to spec with his Devo and he doesn't have his D arrows in and he needs to click his food screen so he starts running because he's dumb. Can't teleport either because he's on the spec screen. Kill him for Obby Gate, Fury, and Devo. So yeah, it's like a say 4 mil PK, 4.5. So yeah, I'm up quite a bit. This is all today, actually. So I'm up quite a bit today. And then you'll see in the next clip, once I'm done looting this, uh, here. So this guy, Beast Doctor, he saves a lot. And he risks just Devo. A couple levels higher. I'm risking Fury, Phoenix, and Regen. People are watching that. 13 defense, obvious. Uh, Dank is tank. Uh, I think a couple other people are watching. And... I'm just gonna spoil it. This is the fight where I die. And I'm not mad that I died. I'm really mad that he got my loot though, because he didn't really deserve it. If he like I think he eats there. No, he didn't eat there, but there's a, okay, yeah, I eat past that spec. He he saves a lot, doesn't really let me hit. I think he eats there on this forty. Or thirty nine he eats. Where's the eat? Yeah, there's the eat, see? So, just basically hitting him. I think he ate to full there, too. And this is the part where I thought I could combo him. I eat up. I could have... Okay, no, he eats, too. Okay, right here. I eat a shark. Yeah, shark Karam. I could have ate again, but... Uh, he dark bows me normally. I could have ate, but, you know, I wanted to risk it. And he dark bows specs me, and I die. There goes my 10 mil. So, yeah, I lost that one. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Hope it's, you know, just something that you guys can watch because I haven't really made a video in a while. Sorry about that. Um, I'm just going to talk until I get the smithing level. Only 13 more, or 14. Then I'll get 54. Cannonballs is, steel bars and cannonballs is great cash. You guys can do it if you have a small bank. Um, yeah, so, all the effects. There's no one in here right now because, you know, the time, if you play this time, uh, join the clan, just invite your friends if you're at Obby Molars, remember, um, yeah, so, <laughs> I don't really know what to talk about right now, um, okay, plans for this, I'm gonna get 99 fletching because it's great cash and I plan on making a pure someday, so I'm gonna need the longbows to elk, because, um, yeah, Farming up to 99 eventually. Want to get this to 50, 50, 60, 50, uh, 85, so I can get the smoldering stone. And once that happens, I'm going to get my mining up until I get the full motherload mine outfit. 
the gem bag, and then finally the coal bag. And once I have the coal bag, I'm gonna blast furnace until 99 smithing. And I need the smoldering stone, because when I mine, it gives me smithing XP. Even though it's a little bit, it's still something. Might as well just get 85 fire making, it's not hard. 99 fishing eventually, so I can AFK dark crabs. This will go up with my um, farming. And then this will go up once I have 99. Uh, what is this? Smithing. And at least, I don't know, say at least 80 mining. But I can do this till 99. I'll do it the fast way. I don't really mind about making money with cutting. I just want the 99 skill. It'll also get me like probably 85 to 90 fire making from the smoldering stone again. So yeah, it's just, you know, this will be 90, 99, 99, 99, 90, 99. 99 eventually, 50, keep it there, get 99 Hunter eventually, but slowly, I'm never just going to camp doing Hunter, like how I did with, like, cooking, or how I do fit, um, fletching sometimes, this, um, crafting I'll get up when this, the cost is low, you know, if I see something low, the prices for crafting, I'll just buy them sometimes, I have some things in my bank, but I can't even use them at this level, but, you know, I just saw the opportunity, bought it, thieving, once it's at 50, it's never getting higher, and then Slayer, I want 99 Slayer, but, um, that will take years, because I'm not going to do any more Slayer. Maybe once I'm 99 strength, I might do a little more, but I'm just going to use Lamps, and if anyone's ever had a level 3 skiller with 99 Slayer, they know that takes years, so, you know, I might just be dreaming a bit. But yeah, definitely Obby effects, and just going to talk more about my Obby effects account. Um, it's going to be an Ancient's Obimolar, which means 30 attack. I'm not going to get the 32 or 34 attack, whatever it is, for, um, Climber Boots, because I don't really think it increases my max, and if it does, I don't think it's worth the CB. And 30 attack just looks nicer, too, anyways. Um, 30 attack, 90 strength-ish, I think 43, maybe 44, or 45. Um, prayer, but 43 for sure. 40 lowest, just so I can get a fire cape. You can range a mage a bit, a bit. I think I can get 89 range of mage with 30 attack and 99 strength. I might just get them to 99 eventually on it. And um, if I do that, I might get climber boots, but I don't really see the points still. So I will be range a mage based, but I don't really care about that account. But first, it will be an obby mauler with 60 strength, so I can um, PK in the wilderness, make some bank off that, rune knives. Not really fussed about getting Slayer on it, which I will get Slayer, but it'll be easier because I'll have 30 attack for the task at melee and a higher range of mage ceiling plus the prayer. So, yeah, I'll be using Rune Knives to Obby Maul. A lot of people don't like fighting against that, so I will use RPG a lot. So, you know, that will like save me from not getting range based. And yeah, I, I do. When I said I was saving those eggs for Pierre, I didn't mean the. Ancients obby, I'm not gonna be elking. That's stupid on obby moment, even if it is. And if you don't care about being range or mage based, that's gonna be a DDS peer. I made it, but it's it's still free to play. Same deal with the, uh, my ancients smaller obby effects. I'm getting skills up on it just so I can do recipe for disaster someday quickly. I think it's that um no, it has no cooking or fishing, but it has. 30, 40, 31, because that's the level I need for Lost City for Draymond and Staff, and 30 or 40 Mage on it, I was just splashing, not, not even splashing, because I don't have green fan bracers, but you know, sort of splashing, it's only like 12 HP, and I just did Lumbri Lumbridge Teleport, no, Varrock Teleport, Lumbridge, okay, I think I have 31 or 32 mage on it, because I remember doing Lumbridge Teleport, but I don't have Telekinetic Grab yet. So, yeah, and, you yeah, know, let's just see how much profit you make off this, quickly. Okay, so, the steel bars cost 612. Wow, I bought these for, like, 670. That's done. Oh, wait, take these out. You make four cannonballs per bar. So right now they're a great profit, over 300 GP each. That's over a 50% increase in profit. It's really AFKable. You can do this while you type essays, like do homework. I know people don't like to play games while they're doing their homework, but 
Um, this is actually super slow and super slow XP, just something like you and I AFK or, you know, make a video, because look how long it takes to do this one bar. There you go, that's one bar. Uh-huh, he lost a neck. Well, he just PK'd one and a warrior ring. So, you know. And, yeah, see you guys in the next video. I'll make one soon.